Oh, hey, don't duck me. We're promoting our currency to next level consumers. You mean looking for a new influx of cash because nobody wants your bunk crypto coin? Once virality hits, it'll take off overnight. You have one month before I call in your debt. Now get out of here. What, Weston Holdings owns those guys? Mm, crash coin. It's worth about a trillionth of a cent. Okay, wait, Brayden. It's not an excuse to go find a party. The party finds me. To be a movie. Crash coin, one of the many pandemic failures, one of the cryptocurrencies that promise you you invest a little bit today, you'll be rich tomorrow. Well, as it turns out, just like many of the other cryptocurrencies, it didn't really hold up its end of the bargain. And Lucas, he got suckered into buying it because we know that Lucas is going to jump on any business opportunity that might potentially lead him to bigger dollars than what Weston Holdings already has. Now, of course, he's upset and he's given them 30 days to get this product up and running because if this cryptocurrency doesn't take off, then he's going to get rid of them and the whole company. Now, before we jump into this and we break down how Crash Coin is going to pay dividends in the long run. If you're new to the channel and you like these kind of videos, breakdowns, theories, predictions, and recaps of Power Book 2 Ghost, then hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram right here. Tasha Sun, Mastermind. The merchandise is pinned in the description and in the chat. Now, we know that Braden, he's up under Uncle Lucas over at Weston Holdings. We also know they took a trip to Italy and it's looking like they've been using Crash Coin to implement it as the payment for anything that you want to buy from all cap no frap the developers really believe in this product crash coin is going to the moon now like a lot of cryptocurrencies they all depend on going viral and as you heard if they can go viral overnight then the coin will take off because the thing about these cryptocurrencies especially the ones that weren't good they needed more investors more investors to drive that price up now, Uncle Lucas is giving them 30 days, similar to what Noma gave the kids and the crew 30 days to get this up and running. Well, with the help of Brayden, Effie and Tariq, Crash Coin, we've seen has been taken off. Now, this is where the problem lies, because we know when they went to Italy, Brayden ends up dropping his phone. But that's a key key story. Right now, we're talking about how Crash Coin in Brayden's eye. Effie and Tariq is going to play a huge role in actually helping them move Noma's product. But how long will this run last before the developers start to notice this? And also, they start telling Lucas, hey, the crash coin is taking off and Lucas is an investor. So Lucas is going to want his cut of this. Now, is he going to be upset about Braden and them and using the crash coin to sell drugs? Or is he even going to know that drugs are involved? There's two different angles that we're gonna talk about here, basically business 101. Now, at some point, you're gonna to have to expand your business. And as we see, all cap, no frap, it's taking over Wall Street. Not just in the Western Holdings, but every building on Wall Street is now about to start getting supplied by no cap, all frap. And we see the warehouse that they have. Effie is the one running this, but when it comes to expansion, sometimes you expand a little bit faster than you were ready for. And that's what all cap, no frap is doing. Also. If the crypto coin crash coin starts to take off, there's going to see a lot of volume coming into that coin, which is going to draw a lot of eyes. It's also going to bring outside investors to come into this. Now, that's going to draw a lot of eyes. But when you're moving this much product for Noma, you're moving guns for Noma, you need to expand as fast as possible. Now, will they be able to handle it? It's looking like the crew will. But with these eyeballs, some of these eyeballs that are going to be looking at the business and crash coin, taken off, they're going to have a little speculation about what's really going on behind the scene. Now, it's good that Braden, Tariq, and Effie have the all cap, no frap cover where they're selling coffee. So as long as they're not selling the coffee to somebody that potentially knows that there are drugs in there, Crash Coin is about to take off and everyone's going to make a lot of money. Now, there's somebody that's been lingering around Weston Holdings that we don't know too much about. And we just found out in episode five that Kiki may be on to something because she works at Weston Holdings and she knows Crash Coin is owned by Lucas. Now, could there be a problem here? Because we already have one issue with Lucas finding out Crash Coin is making a lot of money. All eyes on Kiki, AKA the suspect. She's telling Braden we need to be focused because you got to understand she's going with them to Italy because she's right up under Uncle Lucas. She's basically Braden's boss and Braden 
like he said, is kind of like Therese boss, which he isn't. But Kiki is telling Brayden, you need to get focused because we're here on business. Now, you know, Brayden is only going as the assistant, so he doesn't really have any input in the business deal. While they're talking, Brayden, he dances off because he's the life of the party and he ends up dropping his phone. Now on this phone, Kiki picks it up. Now she's not trying to be noticed, but when you hear cling, 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 you're hearing all the notifications, she happens to look down. Now in episode five, we found out that Kiki is actually very smart. She helped RSJ and Tariq put together a play to get 20% ownership into the Italian tech company. She knows her way around the office. She knows about business. We went from a 15% to 20% ownership instead of a partnership. So when she sees the crash coin, what's the first thing that pops in her mind? She instantly notices that a lot of traffic is being drove to crash coin because according to Uncle Lucas calculation, 660 crash coins is worth a trillionth of a cent. So that means 0 .010066. 0 that means all the money that they're making, this is a lot of money that they got to drive in and it's going to drive the value of the coin all the way up. But Kiki knows that crash coin has been going up under. So now it's up to her to try to potentially connect. Where is this crash coin coming from and what is it going to? Now, she may have wanted to talk to Brayden in the middle of the night about this because she still had his phone. We aren't sure at the moment. But Kiki, I can guarantee she's about to do a little bit of investigating. And I'm thinking Kiki might go to the developers before she talks to Brayden or she could talk to Brayden. But either way, Kiki smart enough to find out, hey, what's going on with this crash coin? Are you guys doing anything behind the scenes or Brayden? What are you doing with crash coin? Why is this popping up when they are failing and Uncle Lucas wants to get rid of? So right now it's on Kiki to try to connect these dots but I'm thinking Kiki might want into the game. This could be good moving forward, or Kiki could get in the game and mess things up for everybody just for the simple fact that she's not in the dope game. But Kiki seems like she's about that money and she's gonna use this as leverage against Brayden or Tariq. Maybe she goes to Tariq and says, hey Tariq, what are you guys doing with this crash call? Which will have Tariq thinking Brayden told her. So it's a lot of storylines that can come out of this, but Kiki, it looks like she's about to be involved because when she confronts anyone about Crash Coin, they're gonna have to tell the truth or she's gonna go to Uncle Lucas with it and it's gonna shut down the whole operation. All right, so let me know what you think about Kiki. Is she gonna be the one to figure it out? And if so, is she going to Brayden with it first, the developers or Tariq? Because she's not gonna just let this fly up under the radar, especially after she couldn't find Brayden and Effie has been trying to distance herself away from her because Brayden was kidnapped. Now, Kiki, she's a very smart woman and I'm expecting her to figure this out pretty soon. I don't know how it's gonna play out, but Tariq, it looks like you're gonna have to step up again and make sure the crew is good moving forward because if not, Kiki could blow this whole situation up and you also need to look out for Brayden and tell him we gotta move a little bit more carefully because now we're in the big leagues. We just took out Francisco for you. We gotta get back. We gotta make sure all this cryptocurrency is good and we gotta make sure all cap no frap stays up and running. So let me know what you think about Kiki. Who's gonna be the one to get exposed about cryptocurrency, the crash coin that could potentially crash out? I'm Mo IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We just hit 40,000 subscribers. Thank you all again. Next stop, 50,000. Subscribe to the channel. Like it, share, comment below your theories. I'm Mo IJ. Thanks for watching. I'm out.